What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through a lot. We literally went through a lot. And that and that was, we, we had to capture a Mewtwo, yeah. But we captured it with a Shadow Ball, or a Dust Ball, whatever it's called. Yes, I, 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 I'm, I'm forgetting everybody's names and all that stuff. So, yes, you're not mistaken, guys. We are continuing on our little legendary excavation right here by capturing the legendary birds. Now, in Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver, you can capture the legendary birds. They are in the same places except for where uh, Lugia, or no, no, not Lugia, but except for where Moltres is. So, as you guys can see, everything got completed. Everything got moved around. Now we can actually fish around here. And uh, what we're going to be doing right here, guys, is we're going to be speeding it through because, yes, we need to get to Seafoam Islands. We need to find these legendary birds. I did capture, or I did get myself quite a few things that we need to, in order to get by, in order to, you know, actually, you know, try and capture these Pokemon and all that stuff. And, yes, I still have a Master Ball just in case I need to, like, you know, get the last dish effort and all that stuff. Now, both Articuno and uh, Zapdos are in the same locations where you found them in the original versions. And, uh, well, going with Moltres, Moltres has been moved yet again. This time, we have to go to Mount Silver. Now, if you guys can't tell, yes, we are using the... Well, we're not we're not, we're not, not using the high-quality version of the this movie, the this movie app because, well, as many of you guys already know, yes, we, we definitely, uh, we definitely don't, like, we, we need, uh, to give up a little bit of quality in order to get to, uh, to, what was it called, the caves, because we're gonna be going into two different kinds of caves. So, let's put on some Max Repel and GTFO, and try not to get attacked by any of these Pokemon trainers. And, so far, so good, we have, uh, escaped most of them, and now we're gonna be taking on a Speedo Torpedo himself, and, well, most of these Pokemon are gonna be nice and leveled up, so we're gonna be... Yeah, we're gonna be trained up and ready to go. So here we go. Look at this body slam. Here comes a tentacool. So let's go back to Rainbow Chicken herself and or himself, I guess. And there we go. Extra sensory, doing its thing. Yes, we're defeating you. And Elmo doesn't know where I live. So here it is, guys. We are in the Seafoam Islands, and just like that, we're gonna be finding another Pokemon trainer. And here comes a Lineoon. So let's go with another body slam. And this Pokemon is using a Citrus Berry. I don't I don't see the reason for that one. So let's go right ahead and do this. And just like that, we have defeated Pedro. Okay. So if you guys remember, the Seafoam Islands is home to both, uh, you know, the legendary Pokemon Articuno and home to Blaine since the volcanic eruption. And, well, this is a... I guess this is an easy access to, to getting to, uh, I guess, Articuno and all that stuff. So... Let's go right ahead and find Articuno and suffer. Yes, we are going to suffer here, guys. And just like in the original, or just like in every game that we play, this place does have its slippery slopes and everything. So let's go right ahead and use that strength attack and move this boulder around. As you guys can see, there's uh, quite a few things that you can actually find here. Yes, I am going to try and speed most of these things up because... Yeah, we are going to be getting to all three legendary bird Pokemon. The second one will have to be Zapdos, and that's the easiest Pokemon to actually find. Believe it or not, it's very, very easy. So, let's go right ahead and push... Uh, let's see. Push this guy, push that. And let's speed it up through right here. And here we found ourselves a Grip Claw, which will increase, I believe, the... Well, the stay of... Uh, what was it called? Uh, not the stay, but it will... It will uh, increase the amount of times that, you know, what was it called? Uh, da, 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 da. You know, like uh, bind, constrict will actually be used. And, well, look at this. We are in the wrong area. So let's go right ahead and get up top right here and go downstairs. And here we're going to be finding a few trainers and a few slippery slopes right here. So just be aware of that. And so just like always we're gonna be taking on a lot of trainers and we're gonna be speeding through this whole thing right here because well that's easy that's easier said than done and look it gave me a present and it healed me it literally let me win and yes there we go we have defeated another skier so let's see what we can do right here and it looks like to me okay that's probably not a way to go so it looks like we're gonna have to we have no choice but to battle this guy 
So let's go right ahead and battle this gentleman. And here is Bryce. And he does have himself a, a level 55 uh, Dugong. And I probably should be going straight to... Let's see. Let's go with Flow Fault. It is slower, but it does have the type advantage and all that stuff. So here we go. Discharge for the win. And that's how you do it. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. And what? It's learning a new move? Light Screen. Okay, we're not going to be using that for right now, okay? And here comes a Lapras. So let's go right ahead and use another Discharge. And just like that, that Lapras has been defeated. Oh, yes. And, well... This was... This will uh, lead us into the lower panel or the lower area of this this whole uh, this whole location right here, and it looks like to me, yeah, it looks like to me that this well, that top stairs stair area is the way to go. So let's go right ahead and let's see. Hmm. I wonder if we press this. Okay, so let's see. If we press this up, just one. I want to do one. Okay, so if we do that, ah, I see where this is going. Okay, so we we were right on point. We just need to press it just one more time. Let's see, one more. There you go. Okay, so let's see what happens right here. And there it is. We're gonna go downstairs right here, and this one will lead us straight into an area where there's lots of water. We will find ourselves in Ultra Ball, and all we need to do now is surf to find, uh, you know, the specific Pokemon that we're looking for. Look at that. There's more items, which I kind of want to get to. So let's see. Nope, not right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and speed this up. And... Okay, so it looks like to me... That is uh, not the way to go. It's just the back area. Okay. Yeah, it's never that easy, guys. It really isn't. So let's go right ahead and do this. Speed this up and go straight back down. And I'm not trying to do that. So let's go right back down. And, well, let's see. Huh. So that's odd. Okay. I kind of feel as though that... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Because remember, if we press one of these, uh, if we press these stones, it will freeze up, and then from there you won't be able to go in anywhere. So, let's see. Here we go. Yeah, we we kind of have the idea. So, gotta go back outside, back into this whole area, and go back down. So instead of doing that, I think we're supposed to be doing. Let's see. There we go, and of course our mother's gonna be calling us. Let's see, where to go, where to go? Right here. And, wow, okay, so, yeah. So we're gonna have to do this all over again, and of course our mother, like the phone calls are not doing us any good right there. So let's see. Hmm. Ah, I see, I see, I know where. Let's see. We have to press, we literally have to press that that stone right there so ah I know where okay so there we go and there it is okay so look at that using the noggin using the old noggin right there just to get through this whole area and this one will take us straight to this part of the seafoam islands but I do not think this is where Articuno is at unless I'm mistaken and yeah look at that I'm, I am mistaken let's see what if we go down right here? And there, there, there's Articuno. Okay, so he's waiting for us. And this one will... Okay, so we'll be repelling our stuff right here. So there we go. And let's see. King of the world right here. And this one will get us up over the gate right this area. So let's go right down here. And down here. I'm kind of having a feeling that we're going through it towards the exit, but... What do I know? It's been a while since I've actually played this game. And would you look at that? Bam! Well, hello, Articuno. It's been a while. And like always, I am going to have to save this game because, yes, you know, I am, uh, I'm always, yeah. <laughs> I always have the worst luck right here. Okay, so here it is, guys. Articuno is waiting for us. And, uh, well, 
This Pokemon is just like in the last one. Level 50, Ice and Flying type Pokemon. The best way to go about it is to try and paralyze it, put it to sleep and everything, and of course my body slam has gone down. So, holy crud baskets. Okay, so everything has risen, and damn it. Okay, so we gotta hit it one more time, and damn it, okay. So we gotta restore everything, good gravy. Okay, so here we go, restore that, and it's put, it, it's put up a Reflect, so that's good. And let's go right ahead and use an Ether. And take that Body Slam, okay. And let's see if we can hit it one more time with the Body Slam, and... God dang it, come on. Paralyzed, damn you. Okay. So, that's not happening. We need to switch out to Smoke right here and hope for the best. Okay, so here we go, Hypnosis. Come on, Hypnosis. Oh, no, come on. Okay, so let's go with the uh, Fluff Volt right here, and there is really... Okay, you know what? There is something that we can do. Affect its accuracy right here. Damn it. Okay, so... So the Reflect has worn off. Uh, we need to go to Nessie. And we need to do something like this. Okay, so... Not like that. Okay. We gotta, we literally got to put this Pokemon to sleep, so let's go straight to Smoke right here. And, well, let's go ahead and give it another full restore. Jesus, it's like a mission against against these Pokemon right here, and that is the wrong Pokemon I wanted to hit it with. Okay, so let's go run one more time with the full restore. And, well, let's go straight to good old Smoke right here. And the Ice Beam has missed, and here comes a Reflect, come on! Come on! There you go, okay. It is time. This is our, uh, well, this is basically our chance right here. So, here we go. Let's go right ahead and go with a dust ball. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, nearly got it. Okay, come on. Damn it. Come on. You gotta be with us. Damn it. And this Pokemon is literally destroying us. Holy crud baskets. Approximately 10 hours later. Come on, damn you. Come on. Come yes! Oh my god. Jesus Christ, this Pokemon is hard. Okay, so here it is, guys. We captured ourselves Articuno, the freeze Pokemon. Number one pain in my you-know-what, because, well, you know, it doesn't want to be captured at all. Especially in the history of my whole channel right here, which is annoying. Let's see. Let's see, I'm getting a... Let's see. I'm getting a text message, hold on, guys. Okay, so like I was saying, Articuno. Like it says on the, on the very end of its name, Uno. Number one pain in my you-know-what. The Freeze Pokemon, Ice and Flying, yes, it's magnificent, seemingly trans uh, translucent. I don't even know what that, mean that means, but I'm pretty sure it spells for asshole. Wings of the Legendary Bird Pokemon are said to be made of ice. That is a complete hogwash of a lie. So yes, guys, we have captured Articuno, finally! I hate you, Articuno. I hate you with a bloody passion. Okay. So, it looks like to me... We're going to fast forward to when we get to the power plant, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so here we are back in... Oh, wait, we got to do this. I can't really hear myself. Okay, here we go, here we go. Alrighty, guys, so here we are in front of Rock Tunnel, and the next Pokemon on our list is Zapdos. Now, Zapdos is a very, very easy Pokemon to find. Trust me, guys, it's super easy. And, yeah, I don't want to be attacked by any of these uh, Raditas right here, so, yes, go eat it. All we need to do now is go straight to the power plant. Now, this all happens when you can, uh, well, let's see. This all ha this is all happening, or this uh, this can all happen when, uh, what was it called? Um, you complete everything on the list, you know, the whole Team Rocket thing, get everything back into uh, working motion and all that stuff. And then, I believe... You know, you got to defeat the gym leaders too, all 16, in order to, for this to happen. So, let's go right ahead and surf. And all we got to do now is go straight to the power plant right here. And lo and behold, Zapdos is going to be right there to the side of the power plant because it already, like, its home has been taken away. No more home for good old Zapdos. So, 
I'm gonna save this game yet again because, well, I I do see us just struggling right here. It is an electric type Pokemon. It does not like me. Let's go. Let's get it. So here it is, guys. We're gonna be taking on Zapdos, the electric type or the electric type legendary Pokemon right here. And uh, we're gonna have to work quickly because, well, this Pokemon does have pressure and it does have electric type attacks just like that. And uh, well. Yeah, this Pokemon will not let us live. And just like that, we get it down to the red. So what we're going to be doing is going to be doing the whole smoke thing. Because, yes, it's the only Pokemon right now that can actually put it to sleep. So let's go, Hypnosis. And just like that, this Pokemon has been put to sleep. All right, let's go right ahead and get some Pokeballs. Let's go. And come on. Come on. Oh, my God. This always freaking happens. Oh god. This always happens. Okay, so why isn't Zapdos the only like the easiest Pokemon to capture? Oh my god. Okay, so here it is guys. Zapdos the electric type Pokemon, both electric and flying type. This legendary bird Pokemon causes savage thunderstorms by flapping its glittering wings. Yeah. I I I, I yeah, whatever. So yeah, there it is. We captured ourselves a Zapdos. Cool, fantastic. That was pretty freaking easy. The next Pokemon on our list, we have to go elsewhere. So I will be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so here we are in Viridian City. And all we need to do now is we're gonna have to go straight to the Pokemon League. Yes, we're gonna go to Route 22 because we can. And the next Pokemon on our list happens to be Moltres. This Pokemon is now located in uh, Mount Silver, believe it or all. Out of all places, Mount Silver. And, well, now that we got all 16 badges, we are unable to go into Mount Silver. This place right here, of course, happens to be home to some of the strongest Pokemon. More advanced Pokemon. And, yes, eventually, the biggest battle of them all against Red. Now, we're going to be going into Mount, Mount Silver for just one little thing, and that is... To capture good old Moltres because, well, we can. And, well, look at this. We are now officially in Mount Silver. And this guy's like, hello, just when you least expect it. Okay. So we're going to be taking pictures of this with this guy right here. These are all different Pokemon. And the only Pokemon we switched on our list is Suicune. With, or Ho-Oh with Suicune. Because, well, Suicune knows Waterfall. We do need Waterfall in this place. This is Mount Silver. And what you definitely need in this whole location... It's a whole bunch of luck, so let's go right ahead and try and look for this uh, Moltres. If we unexpectedly find red, we are sorry. Okay, so I think it's right here. Let's see. Nope, you'll, you'll definitely find an expert belt. That right there is a very useful item. So let's go right ahead and move on forward. And, well, if we go right here with a, a little bit of rock climb that will actually help us out with this so let's go with a rock climb right here oh yeah make sure to have pokemon with rock climb you know the lamest uh, hm ever and here we go waterfall yet again and i believe this is the location of moltres yes moltres is right here waiting for us okay so Let's go right ahead and find this po- or let's go right ahead and get this Pokemon right here. So, let's go downstairs, and there it is, Moltres waiting for us. As always, we're gonna save the game because, well, you know our luck. Okay, so, here it is, save game. Moltres, it is time to duel. Okay, so, here it is, guys, Moltres, the fire and flying type legendary bird of Kanto. And, well, it's taking on Lapras itself, so what we're going to do is we're going to body slam this Pokemon and try and paralyze this guy. And why, why, why do we flinch? Come on, seriously, stop flinching. There we go. Okay, so now we got to take away its fire attacks. Look at that. Not so effective. That's right. I, I think that's how you say it uh, in Spanish. No chemica. I heard that from somebody. And, well, here comes an air slash. And what's going to happen now is we're going to not do that. And do this, body slam. Safeguard is doing its thing a little too late. And I kind of feel as though I kind of need to hit it one more time, but with something weaker. 
Hmm. Let's go with Squeak Boom. And it is pressure. Okay, so let's go right ahead and go with a Gust Attack. There we go. Okay, so Gust Attack is going to work right here. All right, let's go right ahead and try to capture this Pokemon right here because, uh, yes, let's go right ahead and do quite a few uh, Dust Balls right here. So here we go. Damn it! Okay, come on. Flamethrower hitting us. Safeguard is no longer protecting anybody. And I don't know why it's using it since it can't be paralyzed or put to sleep at the same time. Although we would love it to. And... Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, come on. You should be on our team. We got insurance. We do. So let's go Nessie. And let's continue on the onslaught right here. Let's go right ahead and capture this Pokemon. So, damn it. Okay, Ancient Power hitting us pretty hard. And it's a, its whole stance has just risen up. Okay, so there we go. A lot of boring math later. Let's go. Let's get it. Come on. And yes! Oh, God dang it. Okay, so, yeah. After quite a few revivals and quite a few just struggles and all that stuff, here we go, guys. We got ourselves Moltres, the flame Pokemon. One of the most annoying legendary trios ever. So, as you guys can see, this legendary Pokemon scatters embers with every flap of its wings. It is uh, it is a thrilling sight, or, yeah, it is a thrilling sight to behold. Yeah. It seems like every single one of these legendary Pokemon and their wings, it has something special. One's made of ice, one makes sparks, the other one makes freaking fires and all that stuff, so... Yeah, there it is, guys. We got ourselves three legendary Pokemon. I'm gonna fast forward getting the F out of here, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are back, guys, and, well, we're gonna be taking a look at these Pokemon right here because, well, they are... they are just annoying. Okay, going into the PC, let's go right ahead and uh, let's go with the move right here. And as you guys can see, we got the three legendary Pokemon. Where is... Okay, so let's go right ahead and put this Pokemon right here. And let's go ahead and... Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and read their summaries. So here is the good old Zapdos, electric and flying type Pokemon. It has a bold nature, highly curious, as you guys can see. It is a very, very good special attacker. Does have the ability pressure. Its move set happens to be rock power, or ancient power, charge, agility, and discharge. And well, it's a pretty good Pokemon. Here's the next one. Uh, here you got Moltres, the annoying Pokemon. It has impetuous and silly all written all over it and all that stuff. As you guys can see, it is a special attacker too, but its nature, careful, kind of just deters that. Has Ancient Power, Flamethrower, Safeguard, and Air Slash. An ability, it is Pressure, which is always awesome. And here we have Articuno, the Ice and Flying type Pokemon. Quirky in nature, strong-willed. That's the reason why I didn't want to get captured. And, well, as always, it's Special Defenseman. It's pretty good. Very defensive. Ancient Power, Agility, Ice Beam, and Reflect are its attacks. And its ability is Pressure as well. So, there you have it, guys. We caught ourselves the three legendary Pokemon of Kanto. I am freaking excited about that because we don't have to deal with those guys anymore yeah we literally don't have to deal, deal with those guys anymore anywho this has been the episode i know it's been long it's been frustrating and all that stuff in the next episode i do believe we're gonna be going into quite a few battles i think it's finally time guys it's time to finish this whole thing so thank you guys again for staying patient for being uh you know supportive and all that and laughing through my misery right here at capturing legendary pokemon I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. See you guys.